suction evacuation sheath consists of five parts. The sheath, the obturator, the rubber cap, the connection tubing, and the stone collection bottle. The sheath has a straight and an oblique proximal tubular section. It also has graduated centimeter markings on the surface. A red band at the proximal end marking the limit of the endoscope withdrawal. The straight and the oblique tubes form a 45 degree angle. The oblique sluice allows unimpeded egress of the stone fragments. The negative aspiration pressure can be adjusted using the pressure vent on the oblique branch. The collection bottle is used for collecting the stone fragments. The bottle can be sent directly to the laboratory. Connect the oblique branch of the access sheath to the stone collection bottle using a clear and flexible tubing. Our product line includes the percutaneous access sheath, the ureteral access sheaths for the kidney and ureter, and the cystoscopic access sheath. After routine pre-operative preparation, select the appropriate sheath according to the stone location and the surgical technique. Advance percutaneous access sheath over a guide wire until it is within one centimeter distance to the stone. Remove the obturator and place the rubber cap on the proximal straight end. Connect the oblique sluice of the access sheath to the stone collection bottle, then onto a negative pressure aspirator. Activate the suction at 150 to 200 millimeters mercury pressure. Insert the endoscope through the center aperture and turn on the pressurized irrigation at a flow of 50 to 100 cc per minute. Commence lithotripsy using Holmium laser. The negative aspiration pressure can be adjusted using the pressure vent. The small stone fragments will exit in the space between the scope and the sheath. Larger fragments can be removed by withdrawing the scope to the red band. The stone collection bottle can be sent directly to the laboratory. 